A major piece of downtown infrastructure under construction hit a milestone today. Toronto Hydro has been building a new transfer station to keep up with the growing power demands coming to the downtown core. Well, now a tunnel to connect the new station to grid has been completed. That's going to carry enough electricity to light up 70 condo buildings. Philip Lee Shattuck got a sneak peek. Ten stories straight down to see a marvel of engineering, built using almost as much concrete as the CN Tower. So if you look up and you realize how big that building is, we're almost building a building that large underground. Most people won't even know it's here, and that's by design. Instead of an eyesore, this power station is hidden. Instead of hydro towers, high voltage electricity will run through cables in this tunnel. This cable, in fact, go, is being pulled underneath the, the, you know, Canada's largest aquarium, Canada's tallest building and other things. This much needed piece of urban infrastructure won't be seen. Historic buildings, part of the roundhouse, that were removed brick by brick will be replaced and there'll be a downtown park. Now, this is only the second underground transformer station in all of the country, and the first that Toronto's built since 1955, and it's badly needed with all the downtown condo development and attractions on the waterfront. With all the new construction, the downtown core is in danger of running out of capacity within five years. But putting a high voltage facility like this underground seems a bit risky, given that this area on what used to be Toronto's ancient lakeshore is prone to flooding. The tunnel actually runs to Simcoe Street, which looked like this during a storm two summers ago. So we had to make special provisions to make sure the station was watertight. And so it's been done through the engineering, the materials that we've used. In fact, the building is so uh, watertight, we had to make sure that it didn't float, should in fact there be water around it. But the $195 million project did have some setbacks, including a water main break that flooded the entire site, delaying work by about a month. It should be online next spring. Phil Deschanox, CBC News, Toronto.